facious scapulohumeral dystrophy. In this disease, you need to understand three phrases. It is an autosomal dominant condition, and it is a muscle problem, not a nerve problem. And the third phrase is the name of the disease, facio scapulo humeral dystrophy. If you understand the three phrases, you know everything about your disease. So, first of all, facio scapulo humeral dystrophy, so it affects the muscles of the face, the muscles of the scapula, the muscles of the shoulder. Facio scapulo humeral. In the muscles of the face, the patient is having weakness in the muscles of the eyelid. So there is dropping of the eyelid. Weakness in the muscles of facial expression. So there is loss of facial expression. Weakness in the muscles of articulation. So the patient cannot articulate certain letters, especially M, B, and P. Humoral. So the patient is having asymmetrical weakness and wasting of the muscles of the shoulder, especially weakness in the shoulder abduction. Scapulo, so the patient is having weakness and dystrophy of the muscles of the scapula, which is uh, controlling scapular movement. So the patient is having bilateral asymmetrical winging of the scapula. There is uh, a pathognomonic sign, which is called b vor sign. You need to know this sign. If the patient is flexing his neck, the umbilicus is moving upward. This is called p vor sign, pathognomonic sign for facio scapulohumeral dystrophy. In the workup, from the name facio scapulohumeral dystrophy, destruction of the muscle, as we know, it is a muscle problem, not nerve problem. So. CK keratin kinase will be high. And there is pathognomonic radiological sign. You will find that there is selective destruction of the anterior, of the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg in radiological studies, which is also pathognomonic radiological sign for fissioscapulohumeral dystrophy. It is autosomal dominant, so don't forget genetic testing. Muscle biopsy to roll out other conditions that can mimic facial scapulohumeral dystrophy. How we can treat? Autosomal dominance, so there is no curative treatment. So it is only supportive treatment. And dystrophy, so there is catabolism of the muscle. So you want to decrease the progression of this catabolism. You want to give anabolic medication. The most important anabolic medication in medicine, which is uh, steroid anabolic or anabolic steroid are not effective in facial scapulohumeral dystrophy. So what we can do, we will give albuterol. So albuterol, beta-2 agonist, is uh, a good anabolic medication for the muscles in the patient of facial scapulohumeral dystrophy. Of course, together with the occupational therapy and physiotherapy and supportive therapy.